Hi everyone, uh, this is the circuit we're going to be using. So what we do is basically charge this capacitor to a predetermined amount, uh, remove the power supply from the system, and then discharge what we have in the cap um, through this load and into two parallel capacitors that are singularly equal value with this one. So that's the circuit and that's what we'll be doing. Now I'm using a little different values here, but uh, nonetheless, same principle, same result. So what I have, what I'm doing right now is I just have this resistor, um, resistor here across the load or across the capacitor bank to uh, remove any potential. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll move. open the switch, um, measure again, All right? Okay. Now we'll remove the resistor, and what we'll do is we'll proceed to charge this capacitor. These ones are disconnected. We'll charge it to 25 volts. Okay. Move that. Take a measurement. 24.62. Nothing there. Nothing there. And we'll discharge it across. Discharge, discharge the light bulb across these. this load. It's just basically a loop, right? So, let's measure what we have here. 7.92 and it's this should all be the same of course as time goes on their uh, lower their values are being lowered <coughs> so um, what we see here is we have basically we'll just say 8 volts across the board for close to 24 volts um, you know 23.7 volts or whatever it is um, what we can do is disconnect uh, the capacitors from this particular circuit, put the capacitors in series, and yet we have a potential of uh, close to 24 volts that we can use and discharge uh, the light again into another set of capacitors if we so desire. So this process can go on a little bit uh, for a little while until basically we use up uh, all the energy. So that's basically what we want to do in our circuits and what conventional engineering is not doing in our uh, our com normal conventionally powered circuits in our that power our household equipment or industrial equipment or any of the other equipment out there. Um, now they may do it in electronics like you guys suggest on the forum 